Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what you see in front of me are some plug followers. They are all your sort of common sizes. You've got a small one here for padlocks, which is about somewhere around 10 millimeters wide. Uh, your standard Euro cylinders at about 12.6, 12.7. Sometimes I've seen them around 13 uh, millimeters. And then you have um, sometimes a larger one for some American cylinders, forgive me, I don't know which ones, which are around 14 millimeters wide. Now that's pretty good actually. Um, nice to have a set like this, but they're not particularly portable. You do get some which are hollow, which means you might be able to put one um, like this inside the other, but quite often you don't get sets with any hollow followers at all. So you either don't carry any followers around or you uh, carry one or you might buy a uh, a set which um, is actually a load of followers which do fit inside each other. But how about this? I found this for about five pounds, somewhere around seven US dollars. And this is a selfie stick. Yeah, so you put your phone in there. I think that this button, uh, this cable, sorry, goes into the phone's a button here so you can take all the pictures you want. It's kind of a, a, a sad, cheap thing, this one. This is not a high quality one, but I got it because I thought that it had enough of the, um, these little extensions, a bit like a, a radio aerial that I might be able to find some which actually fit that 10, 12 and a half ish and 14 millimeter uh, set of diameters. So this top one here is around 14.83. The next one up where the handle is, is about 16. Then we go down to 13.83, which is dangerously close to that 14. Certainly could be used, I reckon. Then we've got one here, which is about 12.95 and 11.77. So there's a bit of a compromise there. One of those will definitely be able to follow um, a Euro cylinder. And then I think the thinnest one is 9.93, almost perfect for a little padlock follower. Now, my thoughts were is to get a bag of these kind of like little end caps and chop this down, put a cap at either end and have a set of sort of concertina followers. Um, and there is a commercially available set out there that you can buy. Um, now I thought this is an original idea from myself, but speaking to a few people here and there, uh, as it happens, this idea has been thought of before, but um, uh, it's too numerously to be able to actually give any particular source. So um, if you were the originator of this idea, um, that's brilliant and thank you. So should we have a go? Let's let's go chop this up and see what we can make of it. So what I'm probably going to do is probably get um, a cutting disc off a Dremel or something like that and just extend this out, cut um, these off, slide them back off each other and then probably file and grind them flat. I don't think they're going to be particularly strong. What's not interesting about this is it's got like a guide groove and I'm wondering whether that is sort of deep enough that it could take a, um, on the larger ones, whether it could take a uh, one of those um, um, pinning shoes. That'd be kind of cool if it did. All right, see you in a second.
So here we are all finished. Before we had a selfie stick and now we have this. Um, this end I've kept very tight. This end I've just um, sanded down the inside a little bit to make it a little bit looser. Uh, and then inside you have all of these followers. And in the middle I've even put some shims. And they're all nice and loose inside. They all come out really nicely. I've kept the slightly beveled ends um, on some of them just because I like the aesthetic and I don't think it's going to really make any difference to the way they're going to operate. Um, you can probably still use either end, but you, the flat end here is the one which you'd probably go for. I was even thinking about wrapping a lock noob sticker around this, but then I realized actually it's going to be an occasion where I'm just going to need a super big thick um, follower and um, and the sticker is going to get in the way of that so I'm going to keep it as it is so yeah uh, let's try to sort of arrange that in a there you go in a sensible order you can take your time with these um, make them look a bit prettier do what you want really uh, I was doing this relatively quickly for the purpose of the video but actually um, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the results of these I guess what we want to know is, do they operate in the same way that uh, regular followers like these actually do? And um, I guess we should try that out. So I have here uh, this little core from this IFAM call 40. And I'm just going to pop the key in there, get a shim since we have some shims in this little kit now to get over that tailpiece because that tailpiece is um, quite a deep groove on it. There we go. And I think it would be the smallest one. There we go. Should we try that? Perfect. That's a nice little tight fit. I think the one above it would be probably too thick. Maybe we should try that just to, uh, to try it out since we're here. might be a little bit too big give it a go or it could be very snug let's have a go at that oh I think it's just too big to get in there yeah so the second one up is just that little bit too big is it worth keeping in the kit yeah because there'll always be one slightly unusual sized uh, lock which you never considered I'm just gonna pull the shim out and just see whether without the shim it can just be coaxed in and the answer is no, that's 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 sort of too tight even with the shim out. Okay, but that's cool. So we've got one that actually uh, fits these little padlock cores, which is really what we're looking for. And um, I'm not going to test every single lock I have. I've just got another standard Euro cylinder here. And I'm going to see if I can find a uh, uh, follower that fits that. Again, might as well use a shim since I've got a shim in the kit, pop that in the back. And I think this one, maybe? Oh yeah, nice, very nice. Almost perfect actually. Again, I think the one up from that would probably be a wee bit too big. Worth having a, a little look at that though, nevertheless. And like I said, these slightly unusual size ones, they might end up saving you your bacon one day. Oh, actually that works too. In fact, that's a little bit tighter. That's kind of cool. So there's two which um, which work perfectly well. And the one above it would be way too big. Um, so yeah, really good. That, that works out really well. Yeah, I like that a lot. So there you go. That's the selfie stick concentric follower set. Um, I, I reckon, do you know what? If you've got a little bit of time and um, a few pounds spare. I mean, all together this probably costs about six pounds, something like that. About seven dollars fifty, something like that. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely worth a go, isn't it? Do you think? Um, nice little travel kit, anyway. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, oh, ah, before I go, actually, I was just thinking. Um, they do locate in amongst themselves with this little groove on the inside. 
and this groove isn't deep enough for a, a normal kind of pinning shoe but I just remembered that um, Foxy over at Red Cat Imaging did send me uh, one that he had 3D printed and that he'd used a bobby pin or a hairpin uh, in its construction so I'm wondering whether this would actually fit and the answer is yes it does so if you had a homemade pinning shoe like this uh, with a little bobby pin this groove on the underside of these selfie stick pieces <laughs> I don't want to call them followers I guess now um, actually works so that's a kind of cool bonus all right thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time